Right. But he's going to be one of the more uh, what I remember in Lance. characters. And I think it's an interesting new. You pop the bubble, so, drop like we've combo. done in the new era. Like all the, the characters will have. They're they're still somewhat who you know. There's still stuff right. that's going to bring you back right. to them that you loved using when you were, when we were younger. Yes. But they they've definitely changed. Yeah, he so. probably has like mostly new moves to go with his new role, like his new power set. It's pretty neat, so let's check it out. Let's do it. Okay. So you'll notice right off the bat, he has a new weapon, which is his wizard staff. And I don't know how I feel about Rance Dawson. I don't know if I like weapons. it or hate it. And he is definitely now much less of a physical fighter than he ever has been before. He is a very powerful mage, and he uses it in most of his attacks. It's a couple normals I really wanted to talk about. Like you can see, even his sweep. Mm. Instead of using oh, his that's foot, cool sweep, though. He literally uses his water staff. This <laughs> is definitely. I love the kick up. The it's kick up. So good. And you'll notice the water leaves the top, gets in there, and then comes back. I like how he uses a lot right. more water in this I game, though. I'm not gonna lie for his moves. So let's start off with a couple normals I really wanted to show. He's forward two. Forward two. Yeah, that's fire. Is just like really good range mid. Pretty quick. He's also got forward three, which is an overhead, into a double overhead. Double overhead, it's pop up. That'll be one of his most important, I think. And then one other normal I really wanted to show. Dude, he's gonna four, be broken. Which he has his kickback. He's no longer a ninja. He still has tremendous leg strength. Right. So strong that he can actually kick you across the world. Now this is an interesting combo. Please tell me the way to combo. It. He gets a combo. Oh my god. And can also cancel out of the hold. Come on, you can do it. To take you out. Okay. There you go. See? I'm mm -hmm. good. And let's check out his throw, which is a nice nod to the classic water. That's ball. awesome. He goes in with you and then you Wait, he doesn't out. have the water ball anymore? So you can see his normal attacks are very fresh and different. And I think the water effects are awesome. Mm -hmm. So you want to go into his special moves? I think so. So he has some really interesting zoning tools. I mean, uh, some might even call him a premier zoner. And let's start with his straight projectile, which takes up a ton of real estate. It's fairly quick. And if someone's zoning, I'm picking Motaro. Change it. If you EX it. <laughs> He gets a full knockdown. He can actually hold it down. Oh, he actually is using Striker. A stagger. That should be interesting. And you can actually cancel out of this hold down. So you can mix up doing the move, Time. Yeah. doing different timings, doing the EFs, or canceling out of it. Keep you kind okay. of guessing. When you have a projectile like that that takes up a ton of space, what's the one thing you know the opponent's going to try to do to beat it? Uh, jump. Down. Jump, and that's not going to be super effective. Wow. An anti air version. What's the anti air one do? It's a very neat EX. It actually allows him to pop up for combos. Oh, okay. So, so he's not strictly cool. a zoner, and he can do combos too. That's pretty awesome. Full, you know, full I used to like rain a lot, like back in Mortal Kombat 3. Offensive tool up close. The ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Now, one thing would be. Well, what happens if they're using projectiles against him? And he has a water bubble where he surrounds himself in water and any projectile is going to be negated. He'll actually just be destroyed when it hits the water bubble. Reed is silly. And can you walk out of the bubble? Set up, go behind, okay. go in the middle of. Works as a shield. Exactly. But if you EX it, it surrounds him and travels away. That's cool. That's kind of like the little smoke cloud that um, newbies exactly. to carry around him. That he so goes and go through in, projectiles. Do his lows, do his overhead, all that good stuff when he has the water shield on. Gotcha. Now, there's other ways you can get in. You can set these water portals, and he can set them anywhere he wants. No. And then he can actually work through <laughs> them. So you could do cool stuff, like set one here, go in when you want to get out, work back to where you were. Or, That's cool. when you're in, they really played a, a big deal one, in um. Do some fun zoning, and then use this to get back in. Okay. Yeah, he his magic ability is crazy. You can go straight into combos, fun stuff like that. 
Now, once you've established that you're willing to teleport or throw out some of these fireballs and the opponent's scared to move, you can start using the Whirlpool. And he has close, medium, and far. So Wait, is that like Garrus' move, uh, sand move? And if the opponent walks into it, you can pop, pop him up? For combos. Okay, he's well, not just a zoner. The top of his staff and yes, throw it, down it is really so cool, cool looking. Okay. What if you enhance it? Another move he has. Oh, is, you can't enhance it? Is Geyser. This is a pretty good advancing special. He can two and one into. And if he exit, it, it has armor. So it's a good wake up attack, a good way to beat pressure. Uh, it's not like the fire and shit that's drinks and something. And then lastly, one more awesome full range move that kind of shows the full extent of his power. Oh. The hell is that? Lightning ball? And this is a move that he can actually hold. That should look cool. Or cancel and just drop down. So you can do stuff like you're doing your your uh, water ball. I almost called it a fireball, and it's mm. literally the opposite of that. Yeah, that's alright though. Go into this. Take out the opponent. Immediately drop down. You can set up. You can do all kind of stuff. Set up portals. Be doing that thunder god move. Cancel it. Go through the portal. Just all kind of options for the screen. I think. Um, Rain looks good, really but not as good as Sindel. Kind of freeze them up full screen to get him and start doing his mix-ups. And speaking of the mix-ups, let's kind of show how he can use his cameo and go with that. I assigned him Rain Striker because striker. I think a cop teaming with a wizard is the exact kind of thing you'd see in Mortal Kombat, sure. right? <laughs> so the first thing I'll show with Striker is he has his grenade toss. Oh, okay, that's Straight right, out of MK3, comes in, throws the double grenades. They can either go low or high. And you can Combo do the ambush moves, which means they can come out while Rain is doing his attacks. Mm. Right. So you can do stuff. Like do a straight water beam. I want to see a pop-up grenade. combo with uh, you can also the smoke. In combos. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. So you can do stuff like... Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, okay. Striker is a good cameo Striker for Rain. also has Rain. a set of baton moves. He's got cop bop where he comes in and does an overhead. In the classic baton sweep from MK3. Wait, so these are low the overhead. overhead. If so, great example. Let me see. Yes, nice. I want to see the overhead again. Because so, I want to see if the if you could overhead and then combo into overhead. You got your overhead. Your opponent's stand blocking all the time because they don't want to get popped up. Mm. What am I supposed to do? Sweep them. But you can also do this in a string. So in overhead, overhead, you can do overhead low. Okay, what about low and then timing. overhead? They're like, oh, I'm one of these like ninja killer or sonic people with good reflexes. Mm -hmm. I can, you know, I can fuzzy that. Then you start doing stuff like... Cop bop. Mix it. it up. So just from this 50-50, he can use striker to have more 50-50s. Like, dude, hold on, hold on. Something. This, is a, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a character that can do an overhead that can make characters like Lee Mei better. So this is perfect. So instead of being punished by when you hit somebody with the the um the double four uh forward four four, you can f the f double four four use that uh, ability uh use that ability it'll hit them and then you can keep comboing into it. That that's gonna be great. What I would do is the first after the first B move I'll summon striker so that the second one will pop them in the air. That's fucking great. Oh my god, it's that's good. That's the key. That's god. all you have to that's do. That's so good. Like a famous football player once said, it's more than a 50-50. God. Lastly, Stryker has one more move, which I think is probably my favorite. I would only use that cameo against a Johnny Cage, though, if I'm being honest. Well, sort of. Um, <laughs> Stryker comes from behind and handcuffs you. <laughs> and this gives you a reset. <laughs> he just arrests them? Then you get a bunch of Yo, that's you so go good! Okay. So you get into your combos with a handcuff move. Nah, then bro, that, that's in, great. Then continue your offense. So, like, you could just hand behind your back. Your overhead, go into the handcuffs, and then make them guess low. Got it. It's super that's fun. That's really cool. Yeah. So I think that's. Uh, <laughs> that's funny as shit. That's Rain and Striker, and I. So I wonder if. Um, fatal blow. Let's take a look. You can I'll catch them in the air like, with that move. Fatal blow. Okay. Okay, let's see what the fatal blow is. 
Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Damn, that had to hurt. Ooh. Broke him in half. All right, that was come on, rain. Shao Kahn. Yep. Let's see what what do you got uh, done. Very exciting. People get their hands on rain soon. That'll be awesome. He's definitely rain doesn't look bad. That. Rain looks nope. good. Nope. Some fresh moves to make your opponent salty. Nice. So let's move on. <laughs> um...